Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the demand and the capacity. These are these are the two different terms used in the Seven Engineering structures. So I will define the two terms first, and then I will uh, explain the two terms with example. So first to define the uh, term the demand on the building. Demand can be defined as the all the external actions all the external all the external actions are loads coming on the structure and the structure we call is the demand on the structure all the external actions are the loads on the structure we call the demand on the structure for example consider this is in a building and let's suppose that it comes the dead or live load on this building and for example in a lateral load the wind load or the earthquake load coming uh, as a lateral load on the uh, this building so we call this is the external action this is external action these all are the external action are the external loads coming on this structure so we call these external actions are load on the building is the demand on the building we call these loads are the actions is the demand on the building now what's the capacity then i will define the capacity now the capacity is the is the overall capacity is the overall the overall ability of a structure of a structure to take the take the imposed demand take the imposed demand take the imposed demand it means that it is the resistance offered to the demand it is the overall ability of a structure to take the imposed demand we call this term as the capacity it is the resistance provided to the demand we call this resistance of the structure is the capacity of the structure for example if i say that this is considered as a simply supported beam and there's the load coming on this truck and this beam is the 2k per foot and this let's suppose this is the demand coming on this beam is represented by d and we assume that the capacity of this beam c is equal to the 4k per foot so now when the demand comes on this beam it will resist this load because its capacity c is greater than the demand demand is the action of the external action coming on the load coming on the beam while capacity is the ability to take this in demand so in this case the capacity is greater than the demand so this structure is going to take this load safely and transfer this into the two supports and will not collapse hence if our the demand coming on this beam is greater than the four for example it comes out to be six k per foot now the capacity is less and demand is greater and this beam will comes into failure and it will broke into two pieces here and we call that the beam is collapsed now because the capacity of the structure of this beam is now less than the demand the external actions so we call that the factor of safety in this case is less than the desirable factor of safety. Now I will explain this uh, the two different terms by taking and solving one example. Now consider this is any concrete block, this is any concrete paved or block and the one dimension length is 12 inches and the other dimension length is also 12 inches. It's a square a square block of concrete and we take assume that there is a concrete block with a compressive strength of the compressive strength sorry the compressive the compressive strength of this concrete block is 3000 psi 3000 psi or 3 ksi so this is the compressive strength of this concrete block this is the capacity of the this concrete block this is the capacity of the structure or we can say this is the capacity of the concrete block 
now let us assume that the load is coming on this concrete block and we take the, the for example the load coming on this concrete block is 60 tons 60 ton load is acting on this concrete block so we are going to find the demand on this uh, on this concrete block so to find the demand it will be in the same unit is the concrete capacity is the capacity is in the unit of 3000 psi so psi the demand should also be in the same unit is capacity so demand will be equal to the load coming on the this load 60 tons and the dividing by the area so we will get the unit of pound per square inch or pound per square foot now the load on this concrete block is 60 ton and the area of this block is 12 into 12 it's a square 12 12 so we get the area of 12 into 12 now as we know that to convert this ton into pound we have to do some conversion as we know that the one ton is 2204 pounds so we should multiply with 60 to convert the 60 into pound so now we will get the unit psi of this demand so demand is equal to the 60 into 2204 divided by multiplying this to 144 so we get the 918 psi pound per square inch because now this unit is in the pound we convert into the pound and this is into inch, inch square so this is in the psi 918 pound per square inches it means that this is the demand and there is the capacity of the beam so now in this case the capacity of the beam represented by c is 3000 is greater than the demand of on the uh, this concrete place which is uh, 918 so capacity is greater than the demand so we say we can say that our structure or this concrete be, uh, this concrete plate is now on the safe side it will not be collapsed it is on the safe side and to find the factor of safety we can say the factor of safety is equal to the capacity or demand and factor of safety in this case is the capacity is equal to the 3000 and the demand is equal to the 918 so the value comes out to be 3.26